Good morning and welcome to the Rate Update with Dan Frio. I am Dan Frio and this is your opening bell. So let's get on to it. Where are mortgage rates and why is all this happening? So let's dig into the details. Rates are getting up to 5% quicker than we thought. So let me just give you a recap kind of what happened just last week alone. So the Federal Reserve, um, they gave us some clarity. Well, we thought they gave us some clarity. They came out and they raised the federal funds rate. Uh, they raised it a quarter, which was expected. And then not within 72 hours, one of the federal per people that sit on the Federal Reserve, they came out and said, hmm, we should probably raise it 50 basis points. But then the markets are like, okay, what's going on? You just raised it a quarter. You said, we're going to raise it probably every qu uh, quarter, every meeting. And now you're, you know, within a couple days, if that, now you're saying, you're, you know, we need to raise 50 base points. So the market's confused again. So you're going to have these whipsaw effects happening. So what we do for you here, we monitor this on a daily basis, on a minute by minute basis. Why? We want to make sure you guys, when you're out shopping for a mortgage, you can get the lowest rate, the lowest fees and the best program for you. So that's why I give, I do the video every day is just to keep you abreast of what's going on in the markets. Um, but this is basically now throwing a little bit of havoc in, in the markets, as well as the Russian-Ukraine war, as we all know, that's uh, driving up oil prices, which thus is going to drive up inflation even more. So let's get my head out of the way and let's get to the news as we see it today. So we go to the next thing is the market summary. I just posted these, post this um, in my social media and this newsletter in my social media. Basically what this is saying is the markets keep whipsawing. They overreact, then they drop back, and then they overreact. So can we catch little dips in the market for you? And that's what we usually do. We try to monitor the markets, say, hey, the rates are on their way down right now. Why would we lock on their way down? Let's wait for a bottom and then move you into that position. All right, so let's see what the economic calendar is for today. There's still some news coming out, but I try to get this uh, my video out by 9, 9.30 every day to just give you uh, your wake-up call. But we have coming in today as Federal Chairman Powell is going to continue to speak. That's starting to scare me because he's he's now had, comes in and he used to he used to talk and he would just call, talk with kit gloves just saying, okay, I don't want to really ups, upset the apple cart. Lately, he's just like all hands on off deck. You know, it, the inflation's bad and we're going to do everything we need to uh, deter that. So... The markets are just like, what is going on? So, and I'm, I'm as well, I'm confused on what the Fed's direction is going to be right now. The next thing you have on this newsletter is, or on today's calendar, is new home sales is coming out shortly. Um, we're expected to have 810,000, or yeah, 810,000 sales in the month of February. We'll see how that comes out, as well as crude oil inventories. And you can see those right in this area here. So based on all this stuff, what's going on with the MBS market? Well, it's nice. Look at it. It's now up 23. Okay, yesterday we were down at one historic plummet. Um, but this is what basically what the article is saying is try to catch the dips because the whipsaw effect is crazy right now. Um, so just so you guys know how mortgage rates work. Mortgage rates come out, they get posted in the morning. We usually get all the rate sheets from all the lenders by probably by 10, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, every lender monitors the MBS market because that's basically their cost of funds, their cost to produce the widget. I'll, I'll say it that way. So as that number moves, they'll adjust their rates, okay, based on the MBS market and the yields, their profit margins, and some other LLPAs that we discussed a couple weeks ago on my live event. So based on that, if the MBS markets change enough, the, the banks will repost uh, new rates. If rates are going down, they'll repost lower. If they're going up, they repost up. That happens all day long that you as the consumer don't see it, but we see it. So we can see, well, one bank's getting really aggressive on the 30 year fixed rate at a 90% loan to value. They want that, they want more of those loans. So they turn down the rates and they want more loans in. That's how we help you as long as, as well as we scan the, our system that I showed you the other day that scans over 130 different lenders. So check out that video that I just did the other day. So that's enough for that stuff. Let's get back to what's going on here. So right now we see the MBS market up 25. Okay, that's, that's good. It's probably going to have no banks have issued their rate sheets yet. So rates are going to come in a little dipped from where we start. Okay, so let's see where we ended last night and rates still haven't been posted today, but let's see where we are. 
So we see right across here, the 30 year fixed rate is coming in at 4.72, up six basis points. We skyrocketed past the four and a quarter, the four and a half. Now we're teetering on 4.75. So are we going to be at five? sooner than later. Well, check out my two articles that I did, especially this one here, 30-year fixed rates heading to five at its fastest pace in decades. And it explains a lot of that for you. Okay. So let's go back through here. We've got the 30-year fix coming in at 4.72, up six basis points. It's at its 52-week high. All these are. Okay. Let's go to the 15-year fix. It's coming in at 4.08, up 11 point, uh, basis points. It is now in the fours. We didn't have 30 year fixed in the fours at the beginning of the year. Now it's March and we're in the 15 years in the fours. Okay. The 30 year fixed uh, FHA slash VA, the government loans is coming in at 4.38, up an eighth again. It was up a quarter yesterday. So this is skyrocketing. The uh, 30 year jumbo is coming in at 4.10, up five basis points. And this is the controversial arm that we have a lot of people calling in saying, hey, Dan's talking about the arms. So I have a special video coming out tonight that's give you a little quick peek at what I'm doing. I'm putting together a spreadsheet to show you the numbers in regards to adjustable rate mortgages. But the five-year arm's coming in right now at 3.85, up one basis point. Okay, so this is where we are right now nationally on the national average with mortgage rates. Let's see where the charts are right now. Here we go. You can see this chart right here in 2022 between, uh, we got December 27th, I hope you can see that. The 30 year fix was 3.26. Now we're at 4.7. That is a massive run. But the good news for the day, the market trend right now is strong or positive, meaning the MBS market is strong and coming back a little bit. So that we're going to have some reprieve today. So this is what we monitor for you guys to make sure we lock you in at the right time, at the right lender, in the right program. And again, here's the little spreadsheet that I'm going to do tonight to explain to you guys how adjustable rate mortgages work. So if you like my content and you're like, hey, Dan, you know, what do you guys do? Well, we are the largest mortgage brokers in the country. We help millions of homeowners uh, a year buy homes, refinance homes, uh, debt consolidation, renovation loans, um, and so forth. I won't say we do millions of loans. We do we do our good fair share of mortgages throughout the country. So if we can help you in any way, please do me a favor. Give us a call, 844-775-5626. Or I just created this thing. It's the chat bot. I'm the one manning that thing right now. So if you put in your information, I am truly the one responding. Uh, so that's it for right now. When we come back later this afternoon, I'm going to go over adjustable rates, how they might be able to help you or how they might not be able to help you. It's up to you guys. So tune in later this afternoon to find out more about those. So thanks so much for watching. God bless. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.